so this third topic will be the finishing topic for today. I find it very interesting. I'm surprised no other person has picked it up, but well, you know, here we are. It's like more of a novelty of a topic. It's more of a a little bit of an interesting thing. Have you heard of a little country called Georgia? Have you ever heard of a country called Georgia? This little country that, let me pull it up here. This one's interesting. This little country from which Joseph Stalin hails. That's right, Joseph Stalin hailed from Georgia. Did you know that in 2008 there was a war? Long story short, there were terrains, which might sound familiar to you, by the way, if you are following what happened in Ukraine. Certain regions in Georgia via separatists that were backed by Russia have uh, announced their independence and sort of started shelling <laughs> uh, Georgian territories. There was a war which basically ended up with Russian annexation of those terrains that have uh, announced their independence and those regions were South Ossetia and Abkhazia. Those were the regions that were sort of that have decided to go their way, independent way, backed by Russian separatists. Which of course the international community does not recognize that this um, that these territories are not part of Georgia. They are still recognized as part of Georgia, just as in that other case in Ukraine that you might be familiar with. Um, the Russian aggression is sort of, in this case, considered totally unreasonable. Well, in like in most cases, illegal and not good. But... You know what? There are people that would disagree. There are people that would completely disagree with this assertion. Because, as I've just learned today, Georgia's top oligarch says country owes an apology for being invaded by Russia. As it turns out, According to the top oligarch of Russia, who also happens to be a member of the pro-Russian Dream Party that is currently in charge of the country that has drafted and pushed the so-called anti-foreign agent bill, that means that any uh, body in Georgia receiving any... Uh, funding from abroad must register themselves as a foreign agent. This oligarch says that, you know what? Georgia, in fact, the people of Georgia owe Russia an apology. An apology for being invaded by Russia. You know, I, they say that uh, reality is much more weird, funny, whatever you want to call it, than fiction. They say that pff, we live in a very interesting times. I've never expected a the most powerful man in a country to say, you know what? That time that we were invaded by a foreign country, 
that time, that part of our territory was basically annexed by a foreign entity. What we should actually do, what I believe we should do, is uh, we should humbly apologize. We should humbly apologize for forcing Russia's hand to invade us. It says here, Russia recognized South Ossetia and another breakaway region, Abkhazia, as independent states. Russia recognized those as independent states following the Russian troops' attack on Georgia in reaction to the country's attempt to reassert control over the regions in a five-day war in 2008. It's okay. Most of the people that were Georgian were expelled from those regions by the pro-Russian rebels, which again might remind you of certain events in Ukraine, of the displacement of people and then the referendums that followed. You might be reminded of certain events. It You might even start thinking that Russia has a certain modus operandi when it comes to these things. That That's, you know, I'm not saying anything i'm just saying that i'm just seeing a pattern when it comes to uh, russia supporting independence of certain regions in the world bizina ivanishvili a billionaire ex-prime minister who is the lead candidate of the ruling pro-russian georgian dream party in an october 26th election said the crime the criminal regime of former President Mikhail Saakashvili triggered the war on the orders of foreign powers. According to Georgian public broadcaster 1TV. So basically, uh, Georgia with its crooked president have... Pro, like basically provoked Russia to invade and should apologize. Former President Saakashvili is currently serving a six-year prison sentence for alleged abuse of power. Saakashvili himself, as well as his supporters, claim his imprisonment is politically motivated. And now we have the uh, quotation from the oligarch himself. Immediately after the October 26 elections, those who investigate, those who instigated the war will face justice. <laughs> Jesus. So that's um, <sighs> Ivanishvili Bizia, the billionaire. Immediately, immediately after the October 26 elections, those who instigated the war will face justice. Ivanishvili said, adding that Georgians would then apologize for the war. He was speaking at a campaign event in the town of Gori, which was briefly occupied by Russian invasion forces during the 2008 war. Imagine running for president in your country and running your election on the slogan of we will apologize for being invaded. What a campaign slogan. That is, I think that's the, the, the great, that's the most brilliant campaign slogan I've ever heard in the history of presidential campaign. Move aside, make America great again. No, we will apologize for being invaded. That is the slogan that a real president will adopt. We will apologize for being invaded by a foreign power. 
Ivanishvili's party has been pushing a foreign agents bill modeled on a similar Russian law, which many see as an attempt to gag political opposition. The passing of the law might seriously hamper Georgia's ambitions to join the European Union. The law has been passed. Spoilers. Spoilers. A small and mountainous country that gained independence from the Soviet Union in 1991, Georgia is being courted by the West, Russia and China, and many Georgians say the country is at crossroads as it heads into the next month's election. So what do you think? Do you think Georgia should apologize? Do you think Georgia owes... Um, Russia an apology? Do you think, in fact, do you think that it should set a precedent? Do you think maybe all countries invaded by Russia should apologize? Should, should Ukraine be next to apologize? Should Ukraine say, we will apologize for 2014. We will apologize for 2022. Ukraine has a lot of apologizing to do, it seems. Chechnya should apologize as well. Afghanistan should apologize. Oh, and of course... Serbia should apologize as well. Because, you know, Russia has backed sort of things there as well. There's a lot of, there's a lot of places that have a lot of apologizing to do to Russia. Because Russia has meddled and invaded many places. So, Russia is owed a lot of apologies, it seems. I guess it is what I should end this on, right? Isn't that, at the end of the day, the most important message that we can derive from today's short stream? If there is anyone that deserves a heartfelt apology. It is Russia. Because nobody invades like Russia. It takes effort to invade. It takes dedication to invade. And I think, you know, Russia deserves some recognition, deserves some, uh, you know, deserves an apology for being sort of forced to take such drastic steps. Makes sense to me.